Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for checking out today's video. We're gonna be tearing the front bumper off the car again today. We have some changes we're gonna be making and that is the Noble Front Grill. We have the Noble Sports Grill in there right now and while I like it and it looks aggressive and it's cool, um, I think this new one's gonna look a little bit more aggressive. So this one still has that OEM kind of style with the honeycomb mesh. It looks a lot like the OEM uh, JDM style grill, but this is going to be a lot different. It's gonna sit in a little bit more. It's gonna have the mesh. It's very similar to the uh, CS style grill from Noble that I had on my VA chassis WRX. And then we're also gonna be installing the Noble Hellahorn kit. So that's gonna come with the Hellahorns, the bracket and the wiring harness. And of course they're available in multiple different colors. The grill is available in paint match or carbon. I'm gonna be installing D4S to go with the, all the rest of the gloss black on the car. But I won't waste any more time. We'll get this bumper off. We'll get the grill replaced and we will get the Hellahorns installed. It should be pretty straightforward. It's a plug and play kit with a bracket. So let's just dive into it. So let's go ahead and start with the front grill. This should be pretty straightforward to remove. We just have a bunch of Phillips head screws in the back side of this and it'll pop out. This again is the Noble Sports Grill and I think it looks really good, but I just think this new one's gonna look a little more aggressive. Either way, I think both options are good and I think both options are gonna look better than the stock grill. All right, there's our sport grill. Oh. Okay, here's the new grill. Oh, this looks freaking sweet. So unlike the OEM style sports grill, it kind of clips into the factory clips. This one only uses um, screws. So this does come with a badge mount. It's gonna come with the mount for the badge. It'll have a backing plate to go behind it, but we're not gonna be installing that. So I'm just gonna go on the back side. All we're doing is reinstalling these same exact, well look, yeah, these are the exact same screws that were in the sports grill. So we can install that and it's done. That's simple. But that's it. We got the grill installed, all the screws are in. If you're not installing the emblem mount, you will have two spare screws, but besides that, the rest should get used. At the end, after you have all of these tightened up, it definitely pulled away a little bit at some spots. So there's a little bit more room to tighten down. So it doesn't hurt to go back around and just hit everything one more time. Just a little extra snug. The grill is installed. Right here is everything that comes in the Hellahorn kit from Noble. So we have our bracket, as I said, there it is. Very simple bracket. And then we're gonna have one new nut and bolt. And then here's our wiring harness. And there's a bunch of zip ties in here so you can tuck up your wires and clean it up real nice, but pretty straightforward. And then we have our hella horns in here. Pop this sucker open and there they are. Again, I went with the black ones. These are black on black. These look really cool. Um, I like the colors. I think the colors look nice. I had red ones in my old WRX. I liked the red ones, but the problem with the red ones was they faded really quick. And that's not a problem of nobles or anything like that. That's just the hella horns themselves. And I mean, they're pretty simple to remove. I mean, you take all these screws out and this whole casing comes off and then you could sand this down and paint it whatever color you want or have it powder coated or whatever. Um, but I just chose to go with black and it is like a nice black textured finish. And what we will have to do is before we install this bracket, we're gonna need to install the horns onto the bracket. Horns have this bracket on them already, so we're gonna have to take this nut off and remove the bracket that's on there and attach them to our um, bracket here. All right, so use the impact. There we go. We're just gonna put this on the bracket. We'll put it through. I'm gonna start by leaving them all the way at the bottom of the bracket. So I will tighten these down and then if I have to move them, I will. Okay, so here is how this bracket is supposed to be installed. It would typically go like this. There is a plastic clip here and your bolt here. You would remove the bolt, you would remove the plastic clip and then you would slide this on just like so, reinstall your clip and reinstall your bolt. 
Now, we're not gonna be able to do that. By the way, yes, I'm still missing my mounting plate for my ETS intercooler. I still need to get a hold of somebody and get that. But, so what uh, Jim did over at Import Image is for the X brace, the Noble X brace that goes across the front, he actually flipped the Hellahorn bracket and that allowed it to fit with the Noble X brace. And that also works here for our front mount intercooler. The only um, change here is now the alignment tab isn't going to be functional. So we'll remove this clip and it will no longer be able to use that to keep this straight. So when we install it with one bolt, we'll have to make sure we hold this straight so that it doesn't move. So all we have to do is remove that one bolt on the front, get these lined up how we want them, and then tighten that sucker down, and then we'll start running our wiring. Then we'll take our bracket and carefully fish it in here and sit it on there just like that. It really doesn't have room to move around. Once you push it flat up against, these are kind of stuck where they're at and they're sitting even. So due to the curvature of this bracket, it's gonna help us keep this pretty even, I think. Now the wiring is about as simple as it gets. For each horn, we have two connectors, these red connectors that you see here. And all you have to do with those is plug them into the back of the horns. There is no right or wrong. There is no positive or negative. You just slide them over the metal tabs on the back. Very easy, very simple solution. Boom, plug into the horns. And now we can take our wire and we can kind of hide it and tuck it up somewhere if we want to. So the wires are coming up here and getting zip tied right there to that first square. And then those same two wires come across and they are getting zip tied right there. And then the two wires coming out of this horn are getting zip tied right there. And then they all four kind of get pulled together and zip tied right there and right here. And then they're coming down and around. All right, so we're on the final stretch of the install now. All we have to do is plug this puppy up and remove the factory horn. So we have these two connectors left. These, this is just the wire harness coming over from the horns. We have the ground and the power wire, and we have our factory horn here. So what we need to do is just grab onto this connector, push this pin in, and remove it. Then we have our factory horn. Now we need to ground these horns for them to work properly. So we're gonna have to remove the OEM horn and reuse that same grounding location. And then all we have to do is take our ground and bolt that sucker on there like so and just plug in our connector. Now this connector here, we actually got some heat shrink. I'm assuming that this is the part that it's for. They want us to install this clip here and then just plug it in like that and then heat shrink it. I'm guessing that's the only thing I can think of here. So it might work, but this is a really big piece of heat shrink for this connector. I don't know that this is gonna do anything, but it's here, we might as well give it a shot. I should have a heat gun to do this but my heat gun has been out of commission. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, my heat gun has been out of commission for a couple of years now. I need to get a new one. Yeah, I don't think this is going, I just, it might help, but I don't think it's gonna go all the way. Um, the factory connector didn't have one on it so I, I don't think we're really gonna need this. Before we put the bumper back on, we should probably test to make sure that the horns do in fact work. Uh, yeah, they definitely work. Well, that's refreshing because the factory horn's kind of terrible. All right, now we just reinstall the bumper. Well guys, there it is. That is the grill installed and the hella horns installed. I think this thing looks pretty freaking cool. I will be honest, I think in the shade, this thing looks a little bit nicer, a little more aggressive. I don't know how to say it, but when I pull it out into the sun, because it's all mesh, you can just see right through it. So I'm gonna pull this out into the sun so you guys can see this, but something that I'm gonna recommend right now while you have your bumper off. I have a gray car, so it's not a big deal, but the frame of the vehicle is paint matched, obviously, and you can't see it now, but when I pull it out into the sun, it'll be very obvious. 
And if you guys have a red car, a blue car, a white car, something brighter than what I have, it is going to be painstakingly obvious. Um, you'll be able to see the colored frame right through the grill in the sunlight. Um, even in the shadow, uh, you can see it a little bit here in person, but it's not bad. The hella horns blend in nice. You can see the intercooler peeking out. Uh, I think it looks really cool. However, once I pull it into the sun, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so here you can see it. Now, don't get me wrong. I think this looks really cool. I think it looks nice and aggressive, but from this angle, you can't really see it in the camera. I can see it in person. Um, you can see the frame. I don't know if you guys can see it now, but you can see the frame right there and it's kind of hidden, but all of that right there is painted. And if you had a blue car or a red car, you would see that behind the grill and it might not look so pretty. But with my color, it kind of all blends in and it's way less obvious. So that's something you might want to consider. I mean, honest, honest to God, you could spray flat black paint over your entire AC condenser. You could spray flat black paint over anything you wanted to back there. It's going to be safe as long as you don't get a bunch of overspray on the car. So you could potentially just mask all that up. A little bit of spray paint on that um, AC condenser isn't going to hurt its performance at all. Um, and then you'll, you know, you'll have that. But there it is. I mean, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this. Did you like this grill better than the uh, sport grill? Or do you like the OEM grill better? Let me know what you think. I do like this. And I will say one thing um, before we end today's video. If they had this exact same grill with the recessed lip, and that's what I like about this, how it sits back kind of into the bumper a little bit. This exact same grill with that sport grill mesh, the honeycomb OEM style looking grill, I think that would look so much better. Just a nice flat honeycomb um, back behind there. I think that would look a little bit better than the mesh. So maybe we'll get lucky and they'll come out with a V2 JDM grill, but I still think that looks good. I still think it looks aggressive. I really like the look. Let me know what you guys think. Well guys, that wraps it up for the install of the Noble Grill and Hellahorn kit for the VB chassis WRX. If you liked the video, leave a comment below. We'll talk in the comments and I will leave a link in the description for both of these products if you're interested. I'll see you guys in the next video.